Hello and welcome to this lecture on critical thinking. So that's part of what the English classes do is critical thinking. Critical thinking. What does that even mean, huh? But basically often it's like trying to solve a puzzle. Uh, it's being able to look at something and figure out how it fits together. Um, and that directly relates to our assignment where we are looking at an essay, an uh, unassertive proposal that was uh, assigned last week and you are basically going to be analyzing it and critically thinking about the essay and answering some questions about it. So critical thinking. So critical thinking you can look at it this way where you can uh, look at some information and try to figure it out. Uh, a simple easy way of looking at this would be looking at some brain teasers. Yay! So what's the answer? Let's take a look here. You are in a cabin and it is pitch black. You only have one match on you. You know that in the cabin, you know that in that cabin there is a newspaper, a candle, and wood in the fireplace. Which did you light first? Hmm. So if you're in a cabin, it's pitch black. Uh, newspaper, candle, wood in the fireplace. Okay. If you look at that information and you think about it critically, and you analyze it, what would the answer be? Well, some may say the newspaper. Because then with the newspaper, that would be enough flame to light the wood in the fireplace. Someone would say the candle, because then with the candle, it would be burning. You can light the newspaper. Which thing could light the wood? Hmm, which would it be? Well, the answer would be the match. You have to light the match first before you can do any of these. Ta-da! Yeah, trick question. But, again, critical thinking. All right, let's do another one. A cruise ship sailing in the Atlantic Ocean sinks. Every single person dies. Yet... When the Coast Guard arrives, there are survivors. How is that possible? All right, so if you look at that, a cruise ship is sailing across the Atlantic Ocean and it sinks. Bum, bum, bum. Every single person dies. Yet, when the Coast Guard arrives, there are survivors. Well, how can there be survivors if every single person dies? I don't know. How is that possible? The answer is, well, this is kind of a play on words, but the survivors are the people who are married, because only the single people died. Every single person dies, but the married ones lived. Yeah, critical thinking. Love it. Let's look at another one. A man gets an egg and a rocket kit. The man builds the rocket and puts the egg inside it. Later, the man stands back and launches the rocket. The rocket suddenly blows up. The egg was not damaged. How is that possible? Huh, how is that possible? Okay, well, let's see what we got. Man has an egg and a rocket kit. He builds the rocket, puts the eggs inside it. Puts the eggs inside it. Later, the man stands back and launches the rocket. The rocket suddenly blows up, but the egg was not damaged. Okay, any ideas, any guesses? Well, sometimes you have to read what's not there. Oh, yes, I did say that. Critical thinking. Here's the key. Later, the man stands back and launches the rocket. He took the egg out. That's why it wasn't damaged. Does it say that? No. But the later indicates that something happened. So, that's why the egg wasn't damaged, because he took it out. Critical thinking. Tricky. All right, is there any more? Oh, yeah. The maker doesn't need it. The owner doesn't want it. And the user doesn't know he's using it. What is it? Let's look at that again. Huh. Maker doesn't need it, the owner doesn't want it, and the user doesn't know he's using it. Okay, so the maker doesn't need it, the owner doesn't want it, and the user doesn't know he's using it. What is it? Uh, uh, the answer is, it's a coffin! Because the maker of the coffin, he doesn't need it because he's alive. The owner doesn't want it, okay? Whoever's in the coffin doesn't want it because they're dead. Yeah. Or maybe the owner who bought it. Yeah, the bot, they don't want it because someone died. And the user doesn't know he's using it because he's dead. There's the answer. Okay, so. Oh, we have another one. Which word, if pronounced right, is wrong, but if pronounced wrong, is right? Oh, just, oh, my head is hurting me. Okay, so which word, if pronounced right, is wrong, but if pronounced wrong, is right? You ready for the answer? The answer is the word wrong. So if you pronounce it 
if you if you were to look at this word and you were to say right, well that's not pronouncing it correctly. Okay, so if you pronounce this word right, you'd be wrong. But if you pronounced it wrong, if you looked at these letters and pronounced it wrong, you would be correct. Yeah, I know, super tricky. Okay, so why is any of this important? Because you're dealing with controversy. Okay, generally when you're dealing with controversial issues, um, which is something you'll do with English 112, you need to be able to look at the different sides of the argument, critically think and analyze um, really what is being said and what's not being said by, by somebody. So, an example. Let's talk about the kosher deli. Okay, now if you don't know what kosher means, kosher is, uh, for those of the Jewish faith, uh, kosher is uh, means that the food is okay for someone who is uh, Jewish to eat them. They have a certain eat, uh, uh, diet code of what they're allowed to eat and what they're not allowed to eat. Um, so um, kosher deli sells uh, food that is something they are okay to eat. So in this case, the kosher deli, um, they make hot dogs, but the hot dogs are not made out of pork because co pork is not considered kosher. It may be out of beef or, or something else. Okay. So let's say I walk into the kosher deli, and I've eaten there before, and they've had, got really good food. And I said, okay, hey, I want a ham sandwich. Well, the owner would say, well, I'm sorry, but we don't sell ham sandwiches here. We're a kosher deli. Very clearly on the sign, it says kosher deli. And I said, oh, but you guys have the best bread, and you prepare sandwiches so good. Please, oh, please um, make me a ham sandwich. And they say, sorry, we don't sell ham sandwiches. We don't even have ham in the store. I say, well, no problem. It just so happens that I brought some ham with me. And so I just need you to go ahead and put that on a sandwich. Well, at that point in time, they can say, well, no, we don't do that. Because that's not what we do. We don't, you know, we believe that, you know, ham is not something that we should eat. So we're not going to make you the ham sandwich. Okay, now I could get all bent out of shape and say, oh, fine. You know what? You're not, you know... I'm going to sue you now because you're not going to make me ham sandwich. Well, it's very clear that you would not win. Now, if I walked in and said, hey, I'm a Christian. And they said, hey, I'm a Jew. I say, good for you. And they say, good for you. Okay. Um, I say, hey, I want a ham sandwich. It's like, you know what? We're a kosher deli. We don't sell ham sandwiches here. I'd be like, oh, okay. But if I were to say, hey, you're not going to sell me a ham sandwich because I'm a Christian. Um, that's not the case. It's not because they're not going to sell me a ham sandwich because I'm a Christian. It's because they don't make ham sandwiches. And they don't have ham because that is against their religious beliefs. Kind of see the point? Okay. So now let's say I go to uh, a store called The Loft. The Loft sells women's clothing. I go into the women's clothing and I say, Hi, I want to buy, um, and this is the kind of uh, crude example here, I want to buy a jock strap. And they say, well, we don't sell those here because we sell women's clothing. And I say, oh, I see how it is. You're not selling me a jock strap because I'm a man. And they're like, no, we're not selling you that because we don't carry them, you know. Um, now, could I buy whatever I wanted to uh, in, the, in, the, in the store? Absolutely. They couldn't sell to me. They say, you know, if I went up there with a, you know, a big flower dress, you know, with uh, pink and purple and said, hey, I want to buy this dress. They couldn't say, well, I'm sorry, we're not going to sell you that dress because you're a man. And that's against the law. You know, I can buy whatever they have in store. But it clearly says, you know, maybe instead of it being called the loft, they call it, I don't know, how about women's clothing? That's just the name of their store. So if I were to go in there, I wouldn't expect to find men's clothing. And they wouldn't have to sell it to me, uh, any male clothing. I couldn't sue them for not selling me male clothing because it's not what they do. Okay, well, so far as I've given this lecture, you may be nodding your head like, okay, I get that, I get that. So where are we going with this? Well, what happens if I open up a store in New York City and I put it right next here to the kosher deli? And next to the kosher deli, I open a store and it, it's a bakery. And I write uh, Christian Bakery. That's the name of my bakery, Christian Bakery. Um, and then you have somebody who comes in and says, hi, I want to buy a wedding cake. And it's for me and my, uh, my gay spouse. And the Christians say, well, we, we don't make gay wedding cakes. We just make Christian wedding cakes. Okay. Now, we have all these wedding cakes you can purchase. Okay. But we're just not, you know. So they couldn't say, well, we're not going to sell you a wedding cake because you're gay. But they can say, look, you can buy a cake. Okay. But we're not going to, you know, make a gay wedding cake. And they said, well, 
that's not okay. You know, look, all we want is just for you. We here, here are the two. Like, you know, there's the two. Instead of a, a man and a wife on top of the cake, we want to have a man and a man on top of the cake. And you know, the people would say, well, I'm sorry, we're not going to put that on the cake because that's not what we do here. Okay, is that really any different from the kosher deli? Okay, from the kosher deli, they're not going to put ham on your sandwich even if you provide ham because it's against their religious beliefs. Controversial topic about the bakery cake and wedding cakes for gay people. You see the difference? So you may have been with me so far as far as the kosher deli and even the, the women's store, but then there may be controversy when it comes to the, to the bakery. Now, again, I'm not trying to persuade you one way or the other, but critical thinking, you actually need to look at it more critically instead of getting your emotions all involved and maybe your personal beliefs in the way look at things critically so in order to argue effectively critical thinking is necessary so there is the lecture on critical thinking and yeah so there you go